Hi, I'm Robert McCammon. I'll say a few words about my book, Boy's Life. Uh, I'm here at the uh, Alabama Booksmith Bookstore in Birmingham, Alabama. You know, I haven't seen the, this. This was the original uh, uh, cover, original copy of uh, Boy's Life. Uh, it's been through several uh, re -edition, editions and reissues. But gosh, look how big my name was there. I can't believe how big my name is huge. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, Boy's Life... Um, was was sort of a different thing for me because I was doing uh, I was writing the horror genre and I decided I was working on a book uh, about a murder in a small southern town and it just wasn't working out I mean it just it was going nowhere and I thought it was just not going to happen so I'd, I'd had in mind for several years to do a book about just about a boy growing up in the south who wanted to be a writer and he had the potential to be a writer but it was just going to be about his adventures and, and what went into his uh, growing up in his, uh, well, actually it's one year in his life, but what went into that year that, that helped him become a writer in the future. Uh, and, you know, when I turned it in, uh, my, my editor said, you know, people are going to think it's autobiographical. Well, it's not really autobiographical because I didn't grow up in the small town. But it is, but it is somewhat because there's a lot of it, a lot of the book, uh, a lot in the book is of me, of course, being a writer and wanting to be a writer. Um, Anyway, this is this is um, uh, this book is out of print, uh, and and the hard the hard covers of Boy's Life are, out of, are mostly out of print. Um, so uh, the bookstore just happens to have a hardback copy of this. And in fact, like I say, this is the original uh, version of this book. Uh, this I think is pro this with the book Swan Song is probably my most pop one of my most popular books. Uh, it, it it not. A day goes by that I don't get some message, uh, email, or some message from someone around the world who connects with this book. The wonderful thing about the book, and I mean, I didn't, I didn't plan it this way. I mean, I, I didn't sit down and say I'm going to write a book that's going to make people remember their childhood or be able to reconnect with their childhood. I didn't sit down to do that. I sat down to write something as I write all my work to please myself that I feel is uh, that I feel is is true to something that I believe in and that hopefully other people will will find true to uh, and, and entertaining and enlightening but this book is is sort of um, it's it's sort of I'm just going to word use the word magic in a way because it does help people connect with their childhood and like I say almost every day I get some message from somewhere and it doesn't have to be in America it can be around the world someone saying thank you for helping me reconnect with my childhood and the things that I remember that were important when I was a child that I realized I had forgotten until I read your book. And I, you know, I, I can't think of any better testament uh, and, and, and um, uh, pr praise for a writer. And, and I mean, I, I'm just floored by it. I, I'm just so grateful that it happened as it did. Anyway, boy's life. Um, uh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you.